The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course. Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? So at this point, I don't really know where to go with this. We have three things that don't work. So one of my first thoughts is maybe there way, there's a way to combine them. So one thing is I was thinking, what if we gave, what if we found the weapon but we gave it over to the crows and it was a trick? That doesn't work though because it does end the universe. It doesn't really work that way. But um, what if we use the crazy sky ripper? But when it tries to trigger the end of the world, we use that great power source to stop it, or something. What if I can use these two relics together, or something like that? I don't know. I do know that if, if so, ah, uh, it's tempting to go to the temple and just go full evil to see what happens for a playthrough. It's also tempting to see what happens if I go with Lupito, but then totally go against all of his plans. And hey, it's been, the, it's been the longest time since we did this storyline, so let's see if I can branch this one differently. Ah, uh, Lapino. Apparently, the Mad Rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. Lapino's frantic message said that the Ravens were going to kill him for being a rebel spy. And that he had a clever plan. If the fleet reached him first, They'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Or so Lapino had told him over the far speaker anyway. Getting a lot of ish additional dialogue here. It seems to be related to the fact that we know he's a traitor. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had... Had everybody fled the ravens? What is back here? This kind of a backwards direction? Oh, this is the beginning area. Weird. It started me ahead of it. Ooh, piece of void. How are we doing on those? Am I there yet? N ah, one more wind essence and we're there. Just one more. Five more water essences, so that'll be a while longer. Then we'll have these swords maxed out, at least in their current state. Don't know if I should expect another one. When Renato went to the china shop, for some reason the owner was always nervous. For some reason he was always nervous when he went to the china shop, as if he had a pageant for smashing everything in the area. Alright, well let's go in then. Hi everyone. Oh. Nice to see you all. Yep. Don't mind me. Just doing some crazy dashing. Ow. Alright, you got me. Still hard to see the countering signal. Oh, gotcha. There we go. How you guys feeling now, huh? Just giving you a few n more holes here and there. Hope you don't mind. Oop. I gotcha. Aha! Oh yeah, more or less on top of things. 57 combo. Huh. Yep. 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 Don't mind me. Just cutting a few new holes. Can I get to 100? And this seems unlikely. They're unlikely to survive long enough, frankly. Like that. Oh well, I tried. That was odd. Renato had been here. At this exact place. At this exact time. But this time, there were so many more ravens. Here's an alternate path. So the story has changed now as a result of us 
getting further, apparently. Bernardo looked around the empty village and reflected. The Sky Ripper had turned out to be far too dangerous to be used. Time to turn to what he knew best. It's really strange when something just doesn't want to break. Hey, buddy. Gotcha. That was slightly startling how fast I dashed at him. Look at this. There's like stables or something. This place is extensive. Oh, hey, look. They're ready to explode. How convenient for me. Not at all, actually. Ooh. We can get our new thing in Shield Breaker. That probably helps us destroy shields. Because it's called Shield Breaker. <laughs> don't know if I'm blowing anyone's mind right now. We'll wait until I get to the next blacksmith because I don't feel like backtracking right now. Although it'll, it'll be very tragic if I go up to a void door before then. Which could happen. So this is the village we didn't even explore last time because I kind of warped past it on that one. Though there's like an elevator that went past it, I think. So it's another good example of how the game constantly branches in cool ways. Yeah, the elevator took me it here. Was a workbench when you needed one. Oh, never mind. I must have it. it makes you faster. And it's all dramatic looking. It's gonna take 13 more wind essence to upgrade it again, though. And we have shield breaker. Let's see, rare loot, physical damage reduced, sword energy. It might be time to take off treasure hunter. I don't know. Your hits cause shield grunts to drop their shield. Yeah, that seems really nice. That's obviously really useful. <laughs> Look at this sword. Oh, swing. Sometimes, at home, he'd wave his sword around for hours. He could just chop away. But let's test something real quick. No? It didn't seem to heal me. Yeah, recover health over time, cost energy. It seems that I may have been misinterpreting something about the recovery of that. I thought that you had to, it was a life leech thing. Because I got distracted by another skill that was a life leech thing, I think. But, uh, I've been told that that isn't a life leech thing, which might be true. We'll have to test it more. We have another point to spend. More sword energy would not hurt. Could use a little more energy leeching, though. So you throw things further. Stab when you grab him, recover from being hit almost instantly, and, and the attacker is knocked down. Wow. Dash through enemies for additional damage. Yeah, I can dash through shield wearing enemies, enemies would be very nice. True sword foo. Attack enemies at any distance, auto activates when reaching a certain combo threshold. I'm curious about that one because I feel like it might, it might trigger a special animation. If it gives me a special animation, I want to see it. I think we jumped in the well last time. I think. I'm curious about what'll happen. Can I use this? Nope. Now that I have the lava sword. We didn't have this last time. Or did we? This looks familiar too. No, no, we weren't here before. The switches and stuff. Those apples? Why are they, why are they so shiny? They're so shiny! Be very careful not to try to... Oh, it's timing based. Or, I mean, specifically, I mean, there's a time limit. So you have to move fast, because it stops moving. So first opportunity, pachoom. There we go. All set. And this teleports back. It's actually not a new path. It's just cool stuff to pick up. Physical resistance level two. That should be auto-equipped, because I'm already using physical resistance. Is that a 40% bonus now? It was already a 20, I think. That's a hell of a bonus. We're becoming quite durable indeed. Oh, hello. Missed you. More wind essence. I'll take it. Fine, let's hop down. Woohoo! So, I, if I, I wonder if the, enemy, the additional enemies are a plot point, or if it's just like, hey, you know, there's... We're, upgr we're upgrading the difficulty because you've been playing for a while. I'm hoping it's an ongoing plot that something's changing. You're messing with the time stream, what are you doing? Hi everyone. Oh, oh, kind of walked into that one. Oh yeah, we're in, we're absolutely in high speed mode right now. I'm trying to work my way to the serpent. Nope, not quite. 
Gotta get him before Keeps Keeps. Oh. If only you had some sort of gun that's made for. Keeps trying to. There we go. He keeps trying to buff everybody. Not a fan. Let's fix that. Ow. Let's get ready for heals potentially. Because I could certainly use some. Oh. Hello. Thank you for the perfect counter. Much appreciated. There we go. Good to go. We're landing everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lapino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lapino. Well, unless he really was a traitor. Obviously. Then they'd probably pin a medal on his chest. Which we know now. He hadn't noticed that path before. Yeah, funny how that works. Here we go. Gonna have to try to he Ooh, physical resistance level three. That's ranking up fast. Dear Zenobia, how are you enjoying the academy? New friends must already be flocking around you, no doubt. Here in the palace, things are the same. I have much time to dedicate to my special hobby. I have been collaborating with P Professor Calaveras and his team of experts to investigate the nature of the islands. My gut is telling me that the islands are, at are alive. I think that they have a will of their own. Do you hear me, daughter? Our world could be more than floating masses of rock and water. Professor Calaveras and his boys have made measurements. The islands are drifting, surrounded by the endless sky. It is difficult to notice. But through careful measurements of the wind over long periods of time, they have they are certain the islands are moving westward. But where to? It may take centuries, millennia, to reach the destination. I have the strange idea. What if the islands are some sort of herd? That they are deliberately searching for another herd of islands? Could you imagine? New islands with their own inhabitants. The thought that we may not be alone, if only I could live long enough to witness the event. With love, with love, father. So they think that the islands are on a journey to find other islands which may have their own civilizations on them? He looks forward to meeting those new people, but judging by all of how history is, that has basically ever worked, I'd be, Nobody said they were original. I'd be more concerned that they'd probably uh, be warfaring types. Even if they don't consider themselves to be that already, they'd probably, probably be in for a fight. Alright, let's try this out. Oh yeah, you can totally heal, just whenever you feel like it. Good to know. Good to know. Give me your boxes. I need your ores that you have conveniently collected into containers. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Bernardo recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. That was a prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats. So we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia. We find out what she knows. And that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Well, I'm already quite interested in seeing what happens if I go against his plan. Even though Renardo could no longer get the Sky Ripper's at armature, its core was still within reach. Maybe he could still harness its power with Lupino's help. I figure we go this way, the dark, the evil relic is still a mystery to everyone, and we don't capture Zenobia and fall into his evil plan, and if we get half the Sky Ripper, that means that our opponents can't use it either. To make the Sky Ripper, the Transcendent Emperor had wrapped an armature around the eye of a god. Bernardo had already let that armature slip away to save Lupino's life. But even its core, the eye torn from a god. Surely they could fashion a great weapon from that. The core of the Sky Ripper? Lapino was excited. That's an actual thing that we could just go and get. You've been busy. He sure had. Renato told him all the things he'd been up to. 
Soon they got to talking about old times, about wages they'd won and lost, and scrapes they'd barely got out of. It was good to be back with his friend. True, the Corps was capable of terrible, uncontrollable destruction. But this time, he was sure it would work great. Oh, that poor fool. It's beautiful here, thought Renardo. It was nice to be back with his old war buddy. All right. Lapino was a traitor. But still, it was good company. Die, 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 die. mother die, never die. let him wave his sword around at home. He guessed he was still compensating for that. You had a, you had a sword at home? I have only more questions now. I think we've been in that before. So now we're off adventuring with our traitor friend. Whoops. Problematic. I don't necessarily think this is the way we solve the problem and win the war. But I'm curious to see what happens if you take a totally different branch with Lampino. You never knew where the road would take you, thought Renardo. If nothing else, that might be my next place. My next few playthroughs is doing the three paths again, but doing wildly different things. So rank two must have been forty percent. Now it's, I mean, it must have been thirty percent. Now it's forty percent. That's a lot of reduced reduced physical damage, and we can go through shield grunts, which is nice. I really wish I'd get a lot a, lo a higher level version of energy on kill. That's the first upgrade we got, I think, and I've never gotten a better one. And uh, I want one because regenerating my energy faster would be very nice. We finally have the water essence, but we're short on ore. Not even close on wind. Here we go. But I I'm curious to see how many branches I can visit that are still f that still feel wildly different. Dear Zenobia, the director of the academy has told me how much he was impressed by your academic performance and leadership. Somehow, I doubt this was a session of bootlicking. I have seen plenty of those. That old toad is sincere. I am proud of you, my daughter. You will make a fine empress one day. On my end, great news. Professor Calaveras has been studying the Nexus and has made a bold observation. That Toad is a true genius. You know how that island is unique, constantly changing, new crystalline for uh, formations appearing, island fragments merging, splitting, slowly drifting, held together by some invisible threads. Professor Calaveras is convinced that those changes are not random, but rather indicative of the living nature of the islands. He has observed that certain changes on the Nexus follow, or sometimes precede, a turbulence on another island, Landslide, quake, flood, and nexus seem the nexus seems to resonate with those events. Maybe the islands are a hive mind, and the nexus is the brain. In any case, I am funding a permanent observa uh, scientific observatory on the nexus. It will attract the empire's greatest minds. And with Professor Calaveras at the helm, I anticipate a great age of enlightenment for the empire. With love, Father. See, he used to be a great guy. He was helpful, and he was like funding research and being all swell. And now he's trying to, you know, attack entire types of people and destroy knowledge. So you have to wonder what 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 did he find out? You have to wonder what did he find out that was some great evil? Oops. Excuse me. Oop. Just trying to obliterate your weird serpent monster that's making this life worse for me. There we go. Perfect strike. Perfect strike. Perfect strike. Quick. Hit. Hit. Oh, you got me. It is, it is still surprisingly hard to see the incoming attacks when they're all glowy like that. Come on, guys, just drop an energy on kill. Even I say I say drop one, but of course, pretty sure they've all come from chess anyway, so it's kind of pointless. Heal me in slow mo. <laughs> I, had to, I had to deactivate slow mo myself by pressing something. The mysterious sword from the east made you so fast you could catch a fly with your chopsticks. If that's what you really want. Critical chance. Interesting. Yeah, definitely at this point, I'm concerned. I'm just. I'm curious about what happens because I've, I've I've visited the three stories as as dis as distinct entities. So now I'm curious what happens if I visit each of them. But I, what if I try to mixing them together? That's interesting, right? Like, oh, let's go get Lupino. But instead of doing the entire subplot of what happens when you get Lupino, we'll instead try to find out what happens. If, uh, you drop that shield. Oops, rude. What happens if we take that shield, uh, that, uh, well, we, we, we take the rabbit, and we take him on a treasure hunt instead? Completely deflecting his ability to... Uh, I guess he didn't really... 
Well, I mean, he, yeah, he is the one that suggests going after the uh, rabbit, which seems to suggest that she was it was part of her plan too. I think I am taking more hits than I want to. Crap. Dang, guys, chill. Just for a second. There we go. Wow. I got dangerously close to being in trouble. Renato had learned so much about... Ooh, what was it again? Game, you are dangerous. So did we... I think we just leveled up, didn't we? He, there was a reference to learning. There might have been an, an arrow icon, but I may have missed it. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. We're back in the territory of how gross this area is. This weird, corrupted land around the Skyripper core. You almost never saw wild gogglers together like this. The toads had to train them not to peck each other to death. So these had to be Imperial Gogglers. That meant ravens were up ahead. They can peck? The eyeballs can peck? Renato felt... wrong. All over. He could feel an almost palpable sickness in the air. And if the land could have tumors, they would look like these monstrous crystals. The forest was quieter than it had been. There were insects, but few birds. He didn't catch the ravens. Renato smoked sick animals and dying ones, but no healthy ones. And getting a bad feeling about this, Renato thought, maybe Lapina was right. Maybe he should have kidnapped Zenobia instead of coming here. Nope. He's never right, because he's a traitor, remember? Renato suddenly wished he had a marshmallow. Get back into your brain, man. We know he's not on our side. Don't let him trick you. He's been a bad boy. Oh! I was a little behind the time there. Oh god, I'm still burning. Wow, burning hurts. Like, for a while. Uh, let's go for more hit points, probably, because I'm not doing great at the moment. This game always has so many upgrades I want. Counterattacking, doing damage would also be nice, increasing the damage more. Ah, uh, I want so many things. But I am sort of feeling like I need the hit points. There we go, good old 150. A little bit more, you know, margin for error. That's what I'd call it. Hey guys. Ow. So much for that, there's that error I was talking about. I'm watching you guys. Doing my best. Chop, chop. Oh, it's a snakey. I see you, snake. Got him, oh, we got one of them still. He was still able to get one of them before I could take him out. Oh! That was close. We're on top of it, though. Chop him down. There we go. I see you over there. Not stopping me this time. Whoa! I knocked two of them down with the same counter. That was perfect. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Wait. That one wasn't even like a... What? Unless I'm missing something, that one that one wasn't even like a clever reference or like a weird pun. He just said the line from the thing. <laughs> Game of Thrones out of nowhere. As he held the radiant icosahedron, Renato felt queasy. Like dozens of tiny worms were nibbling his insides. It wasn't healthy to be so close to the eye of a god.